Hello there and welcome back to a, another episode. So, in this one, this is the uh, part two in our two episode uh, fixing or building and connecting this uh, new restaurant area up to our farm production area. So in case you missed the last episode, all we did was uh, we've um, actually created some more uh, smaller districts now. We've broken up the large district that we had over here. Now we have our downtown area which is up on the hill and the lower area is a separate farm area. And uh, we are, yes, uh, sending some resources on the hill itself as well. Now, other things we did in the last episode as well, we tried to expand and beautify this area just a little bit. We also have, oh no, some of them have dried up actually, which is not good. I think we are gonna have to use some dynamites, but it's only 14 days. Uh, I think we'll be fine. There's still plenty of flowers growing over here, so we should be fine. But yeah, essentially we are sending flowers all the way around the map which will get delivered from this distribution center i believe oh yes they are and they go to our downtown area where they get turned into medicine right now yeah our stockpiles are still full so everything's working out very nicely and um yeah we were really just building up all of those platforms because that's where our train tracks will go now before starting this episode i have fixed up and tidied up this uh, power line connection over here before we went over and it was kind of in our way so I just deleted everything and and yeah here it is pretty much good to go so um, why don't we start building this I mean I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some issues pretty confident about this now we also have this I think it is there yeah it's definitely the first large water tank and that looks beautiful as well oh wow all sort of metallic look to it so uh, happy days yep you're gonna stay there we do have an extra warehouse and I think yeah let's set you up like so uh, so two of the districts will have quite a few what do you call again the um, the bots that are gonna work for us now just to make sure that no one is going to get stuck we do have let's have a look where are our ladders so this is probably one of the zones where they can run on top of the platforms and potentially get themselves stuck. So why don't we place a corner bit right over there. And next we have the good station which goes there but we are going to pause this for a second. That one's going to block them from running all the way out there. And on this one as well, I think they do have to run all the way here actually. Yeah, we can construct this corner here which is fine. So perhaps you are the furthest we will go. And over here, same thing. We don't want them going through these areas. They can still run on the top. Okay, fine. So you're going to go there. I think here we're pretty much fine. Except when we get right about here. Here we do have to run on the top for a little while. So we can do another track over there. They have to get through. And same on this side as well. It's going to be a little bit painful to have it all constructed. But uh, yeah, I guess it is what it is. Now we do have the option to break this apart a little bit. Yeah, we could go... Hmm. No, I don't think we want to. Yeah, they can launch from the same side. That is all good. However, you are sort of in, a, in the way. So yeah, unfortunately we are going to have to pause you. Let's place you in like so. We'll do... Flag's gonna go there. Okay, you still need to construct all of this as well. We'll bring you through. And this one. I think these ones are okay to build, aren't they? They still have access and same with these ones. Okay, you can climb up. You can go all the way here. Uh, so perhaps we place you... Let's do a corner bit here. Okay, so that's something we are gonna try and get done in this episode. Well, not try. Let's uh, definitely make it happen. And now I think this is the last area where we kind of have to be a little bit careful. Okay, so I'd say the furthest we want to go is probably... Let's do this over here because I believe we still have access. They can go over down here. Or do they? Oh no, I think we've uh, removed the link accidentally. Oh yeah, there's no way they can go all the way down here. Uh, how do we fix this? I think the solution is pretty easy. Let's give them a, another ladder. 
just like so and we can connect you up with the roads as well all right there you go this does mean however we are gonna need another link over here just to stop them from running all the way to the other side okay so whilst they are constructing all that we are gonna try and change the the bridges around just a little bit as well not really liking how it is right now so we we are gonna try and bring it down a couple of levels okay so whilst we are waiting for that what else do we want to do i mean everything's pretty much fine over here however we are able to control the water by those metal floodgates but it sort of stops over here and this is not really how we want to go about it so um <laughs> okay so we probably have to drop quite a few levels how many dynamites do we have right now okay plenty it seems all of these buildings are full of bots as well so okay i don't think you have a lot to do right now so we are gonna continue just lowering this level here trains are still working which is great and we have already built a few train tracks as well i mean i'm not entirely sure if that was the main reason why they stopped before but i did have some funky experiences in uh, some of the previous episodes now i do know that the mod itself for the trains has been updated however i think the the modder said that um it might break the game if i read it correctly i can't quite remember anymore i'll have to check later so i have not updated it to the latest yeah update so yeah we might still have some problems but in the once you get your sort of the drains mod updated then uh, there, there should be quite a few fixes in there I'll uh, take a look later as well. Maybe we can go on the latest update. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. Anyways, so the rest of it seems fine for, for now. So we're just going to wait until we get those connection bits done and then we'll continue with the rest of it. All right. So I think everything and all of the drain tracks are now complete. We do have like two layover stations here as well or the waiting stations. And we decided to squeeze the train yard just like so over here. Actually, I haven't just noticed we have a bit of a missed link over here which is unfortunate but we can batch it up real quick okay so there we go now let's have a look all the way around as well yep so we got some flags this station is done and same on the opposite side as well so everything seems to be pretty much ready now the one problem that we do have sure you've already noticed some uh, notifications and some really thirsty beavers fortunately no one has died but what happened is I think our well has run dry. Yep, we've got 2.6 days left. And uh, what I had to quickly do is destroy one of those drop-off points over here. We have one water pump, which of course is not enough. Uh, so what we have done over here is actually a series of water stations. Oh no, you've already run dry as well which is pretty unfortunate okay um let's see what about if we flip you over like so yeah it's quite um quite critical right now do you want to make sure that no one uh, dies of thirst but a couple of stations pumping water over here and then what happens is that we are manually transporting water to our downtown district how much do you have right now okay not a ton on we should probably give you a priority as well so hopefully they will start doing this quicker uh you are out of range okay so that's unfortunate how about we build another one just like so all right and where are you you're charging up right now oh no okay i think some of the beavers have started to pass away but most should be fine i mean i guess we could tap into this as well but there just isn't a very easy way hmm Wait a second, this one goes around. Okay, it is a full loop. So we can probably do a, another one right like so. Connect you up. Oh no, they are all going to a quick break very shortly. So uh, yeah, bit of a bit of a problem that we do have. Okay, what about over here? We do have a bit of space, don't we? Now, I don't suppose you'll be able to construct everything in time, but we shall definitely try oh okay never mind that one is a little bit deeper okay let's do these ones this one and you go over there i was gonna say 
that we need to fix this um, bridge over here as well. But don't really see where else can we take some water from. Yes, it says 669 in the storage, but actually we can reverse this. How about you start sending some water through as well? Okay, off you go. We still have a bit of space in here. All right, beautiful. And let's have a look. So we are not sending water anymore. We are now receiving it. What about you? Receiving, let's send it all out. Yeah, it is quite a quite a big emergency that we have right now. So you as well. There seems to be a little bit over here. So maybe it will keep us alive for a couple more days. Not entirely sure, but let's see what happens. And uh, yeah, whilst we were building the train tracks, this kept happening all the time, which was a bit of a nightmare. All right, where are you? You're kind of stuck over here. Okay, we'll have to delete you. And uh, yeah, I think I had to do it quite a, quite a lot. But fortunately, we get half the resources, I believe, back. So yeah, it wasn't a problem to, you know, rebuild them very quickly. A little bit of storage. Okay, so now water's going into this drop-off zone as well. I mean, so far, I think we've only lost like three beavers, which is fine. And there's quite a bit in here as well. Okay. Well, the trains are moving water into our farmlands. And these guys are now sending all the all that water up onto the hill as well, which is great. I mean, there is a little bit of space here. Yep, I think we'll use every bit of space that we can. Oh no, this wasn't very useful. Uh, let's see. You are not constructed just yet. Same with this one. Never mind, it is now done. Great, so you can pump a little bit more water from there as well. Cool, very good. And yeah, I'm just hoping we can bring it in quick enough. If we grab one of those beavers. Okay, it's only halfway through for some. You seem to be fine. You're pretty slow, but you seem quite okay. Really depends how quickly they can uh, reach the water, but otherwise, yeah, it will be fine. I think so. 300 left for 1.7 days. Not too far now. Now, I'm guessing... Um, <laughs> let's see, we do have this section here as well. How about we place you? Are there any better spots? Not really. It does mean we have to construct quite a few things. Well, let's do this one here as well. That is not going to block us, which is great. And there you go. Let's have a look over here as well. Are we importing water? I think we were receiving okay we are gonna send you out instead and uh, i don't think we want to do this anymore so let's delete it because we, we we do have a bit of automation here which isn't working just yet but here we go here goes a bit of water and now the plants should be happy again All right so next thing there's quite a lot of beavers here right now so we might do it during night time but we do have to yeah cut the link over here rebuild those bridges we already have those ladders ready, so we can climb down in this section here as well. We just have to remove a couple of these ladders and the platforms. Okay, so there we go. The bridge is now in place. We've changed a few things around over here, and all we are waiting for is a few logs. I think we can speed up the time as well. We are very close to completing it indeed, and the drought as well. Oh dear. That was a bit of a disaster, and I think I know what's happened as well. We've been exporting so much water from this zone, and, um, well, because we're using the trains, and right now with the current sort of update that I'm on with this mod, and not the newest one again, then, um, yeah, it sort of sometimes sends out way more than it's supposed to. Whereas if we were using the manual distribution posts, then we could set some hard limits as well. Uh, so, yeah. It did get a little bit out of control, it seems. In about 0.2 days, we will be fine. So we'll skip the night, and in the morning, we should have some water already. And there we go. The drought has finally ended. Uh, it did feel like a, like a very long one, but um, okay. So the key thing is really, let's uh, drop it at zero. I want all the water to go through this area first. So that way, our pumps can start working right away. I think right now, we got quite a few vacancies as well because our population has been going down right 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 so we are not really constructing a lot of things oh wait a second we are doing some more breeding pods and let's have a look over here so the bridge is now done which is great have they started clearing up the trees as well oh yes they have so that is wonderful all we have to do now is oh dear 
that's a bit taller than we expected it to be. Um, all right, let's do it like so. And since we do have beavers in here, why don't we put metal stairs instead? Gives a bit of a decoration bonus as well. And here we go. We are now connected. I would like to give you the highest priority because this is very important. We want our drains going, but we are going to need a few resources here. So blanks and scrap metal. Let's take a look. We have... Okay, we have both right now. And can we give you a priority as well? Uh, I think we can. As soon as it's connected, we should be fine. So let's keep the builders for now. I hope we still do have them. Oh, yes, we do. Now with the haulers, I don't think we need that many so we can pause two of those buildings, for now at least. We still have another three that are filled with beavers. Okay, so I think we're good right now. Alright, so we'll let them construct these platforms over here and then we'll be right back. Alright, so there we go. Middle stairs are now complete. Let's give you a bit of a priority as well. So this way, hopefully they'll start bringing in resources right away. And here we go, scrap metal is going in, just need a little bit of blanks as well. And, oh no, seems they're bringing scrap metal only, never mind, we can create our first train now. Let's see if and how this works out. Alright, there it goes. It is quite a curvy road. So it kind of looks like a snake getting to our our station over there but that's fine it's uh, mountain roads so of course they're gonna be a little bit trickier but it does look a little bit funky when it goes around the corners over here so uh, yeah so that's good okay since we have a couple of layovers over here as soon as we get a little bit more scrap metal what we'll do is we'll create the second drain as well and I think in the future if this isn't enough we could potentially do a third one as well so here we go we are on approach to the station, uh, which is already filled up to the brim. And bread seems to be the first one going out, so okay, so that's great. And uh, yeah, between the two of those trains, unless we decide to put a few more, of course. I mean, this place over here would be an easy uh, layover, I suppose. And um, yeah, that means we can get the other stations operational as well. Alright, so one of you is here, we got bread, we need the crackers, maple pastries, and what about the other one? Okay, so you got a few resources you need as well. So what we can do now is, let's have a look. So I think we're still sending things out, we are not going to receive carrots anymore. Well, let's take a look. Okay, so you're seated over here, that's fine. Let's just uh, deselect everything we don't want to use this station for. Uh, sending water. No, I think it will be fine. And bread as well. Okay, there we go. So we are, yes, going to bump a little bit of water here in case we do need it. And for now, <laughs> we've set up the gates as well to the flood gate over there, which means we are... Not flood gate, the uh, stream gauge. Uh, we don't need you anymore. Uh, let's just speed it up a little bit because it's night time. It might be more difficult to see. Okay. Um, <laughs> where's the water? Oh, I think it's still filling up. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Here's the first of it. So at least we can get... Oh, you're empty. Oh, I guess the... Are you controlled by... Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Right. So, pause when below zero and unpause when above three. Three seems quite a, quite a high number. Oh, none of these are connected, actually. Uh, why don't we disconnect you for now? I don't... Oh, wait, it's set to the height, and I think here... Oh, I see. Yep, it's fine. Okay, cool. So it seems the trains are working. None of them have gotten stuck. Can't say the same about the other route. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of funky things happening over here. So let's delete this one. That one. So that's two already that we need to replace, but at least we're not building any more train tracks. So we should be fine, except we have another rogue one over here. Let's have a quick look over here as well. Nope, nothing. Everything seems to be fine. And same on the tracks over here. Okay, cool. So that's uh, that's all sweet now. Uh, right, so the beaver, not the beaver. The bot's population seems to be going up again, which is great. And uh, have we received 
Okay, we've got some cattail crackers now as well, and the first load of maple pastries, which means we are now producing packaged food bakery. Now, what about the other one? You are operational as well. Okay, so that's great. Do we have enough power? Looks like we're fine. Right. Okay, so that's going in here. You're exporting it, and voila. I think we can call this one a win. It was a very close one, but um, I think we're good now. We've got the train tracks in, the improved version 2, and uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave this for the food. So this is like a priority lane for everything food related that we are producing in our restaurant district right next to the bathhouse over here. And this train, I don't think we have to delete it. It's still operational and usable for any other kind of resources we might need. Okay, something we should do though is let's raise them back to the level that they were before. I think 2 is a bit too low, so maybe 2.5. So yeah, I think that's everything we wanted to achieve in this episode. That will close the two-part uh, sort of episodes that we had for redeveloping this area. And I think in the next one, what we'll do is let's give them a bit more entertainment as well. It doesn't look like we have a lot in here, so we shall improve this a little bit. I mean, this whole area is starting to look uh, just a little bit nicer as well with the trees and a few more things that we are going to put in here. So yeah, our city is definitely growing. But with that being said, I think it's time for our episode close. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.